Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight we're working on module one, lesson number five. And today we are doing the task of comparing numbers based on meanings of the digits using greater than, less than, or equal to signs to record the comparisons. So let's take a look at um, maybe three problems from tonight's homework to see if you can get you going uh, on your homework tonight. Okay, let's take a look at problem number one. Problem number one has uh, fairly extensive directions. Let's read them together. Label the units in the place value chart. Draw place value disks to represent each number in the place value chart. Use less than, greater than, or equal to to compare the two numbers. Write the correct symbol in the circle. Oh, I see. Okay, so we've got these two numbers, this number and this number, and we're going to use the place value chart down here, which I notice is unlabeled. Yeah, sure enough, we're going to have to label that to figure out which is bigger, and then we're going to put that answer, greater than, less than, or equal to, in that box. So let's go ahead and label our place value chart first. Now, to do that for me, because I have very sloppy handwriting, especially with my fat fingers, I'm going to expand this out so I can draw ones here, tens here. Let's see if we keep going. Um, let's see, next would be hundreds, hundreds here, then thousands here. Great. Let's see, what's after thousands? Oh, ten thousands. So I'm going to put that ten thousands. Awesome. Then hundred thousands. Good gracious. We're still not done because I think over here is going to be, yep, one more, and that's going to be millions. All right. So shrink that back down, and we'll have our regular size problem again. So we are going to label units and place value chart. Draw place value disks to represent each number in our... Pro oh, let's see. So we got to draw our dots here. Let's see. So let's take a look at our first number. I'm going to do our first number in a black pen uh, just so we can differentiate them. Our first number is here. Okay, let's look at how many thousands do we have. Oh, we have 210,000. So let's see what that means in place value disks. So we have two in the hundreds, hundred thousands spot in our place value chart. We have one ten thousand, and then we don't have any one thousands, any single one thousand. So that's two hundred and ten thousand. And then let's look at the last part of our number. We have zero hundreds, zero tens, and five ones. So that would be one, two, three, four, five. Awesome. So I think we've got that right. That's two hundred and ten thousand right here. No hundreds, no tens, and five ones. I'm going to switch to a red pen, and we'll do our second number. Our second number is this one right here. So 220,000. So 220,000. Awesome. And let's see, 0, 0, 5. So 0, 100, 0, 10s, and 5, 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, ones. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and take a moment to compare our two numbers. Now, really, we could do this randomly. We could do this from the right to the left, or we can do this from the left to the right. And let's think through how we'd want to do that. Let's see. If there were more ones in one of these numbers, that would be important. But it would be even more important if there were different tens, right? Because the different tens would mean that these are the larger units, um, and these would sort of uh, overwhelm the smaller units. So let's look at tens. No, hundreds would be even more important to look at than tens. And thousands more important. So I'm thinking that we want to look from the left. We want to look at our our biggest units first, because if there's a difference in these numbers in our biggest units, that's going to mean that we don't even have to look at the smaller units. So let's take a look. How many millions are in these numbers? Oh, no millions in either one of them. Let's see. How about hundred thousands? Two hundred thousand in this first number and two hundred thousand in our second number. So those are the same. So let's see. Let's look at our next largest. Uh, our next uh, largest unit, ten thousands. We have one ten thousand for this top number and two ten thousands for the lower number. So I think that means that this number is bigger because it has the same number of hundred thousands and it has one more ten thousands. And so that's why I'm going to say that we've got that relationship, that two hundred twenty thousand five is bigger than two hundred ten thousand five. Awesome. Let's, let's take a look at another problem. Problem number two asks us to compare the two numbers by using the symbols list, then greater than or equal to. Write the correct symbol in the circle. <coughs> so this is very similar to the previous one, except I'm noticing something different. When I get to 2C, I'm noticing that it's expressing this number in word form rather than in standard form. So I think the first thing we're going to need to do is to figure out what the word form means. Um, now, you could certainly do a full size uh, number line like that. 
Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do a little box that will help me do the same thing. So I'm going to say, I'm going to do a little box with six, one, two, three, four, five, six, with six slots in it. So I can plug in my numbers here. Let's see. Um, I'm told that it's three hundred thousands. Oh, okay. So that's three in the hundred thousands place. Then three thousand. So that's three over here. But that means there's no ten thousands. And there's eight hundreds. That's right here. And four tens. Now that'd be right here. So that means there's no ones. Awesome. And right below that, I'll do it in another color here. Let's see. I'm going to draw out the other number. Now the other number is already in standard first form, so that really helps me out. It's three hundred and three thousand eight hundred and forty. Wait a minute. So when I start looking at my largest units, my hundred thousands, same, ten thousands, same, thousands, same, hundreds, same, tens, same, ones, same. Three hundred thousand, three thousand, eight hundred, four tens is the same as this number. What do you know? They're equal. Well, I can't even do my equal sign very unsloppily. Yeah, excellent. So that's two C. Let's take a look at one more problem. There's a couple problems in here that are about ordering numbers. I think problem number four is like this, and so is problem number five. We're going to ask to arrange these numbers from greatest to least, so the biggest number down to the smallest number. Let's take a look at our four numbers first to see if we notice anything about them. Let's see, 426,000, 406,200, 640,020, and 46,600. Well, one thing that I notice is that while these numbers are six-digit numbers that end up with values in the hundred thousands uh, spot, this one is only five digits long, and there are no hundred thousands. So that tells me that this is going to be the smallest number. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down here at the bottom, 46,600 at the bottom of my list. Because uh, I know right away that that's going to be the smallest one. It has no hundred thousands, and these numbers all have hundred thousands. And while we're thinking about that, let's look at the hundred thousands. This one has four of them. This one has four of them, but this one has six in the hundred thousands. So I think that's going to be our biggest number. So that'd be 640,020. That's going to be our biggest number. And what's left then is to figure out which of these two numbers is bigger, right? Because we know they're both bigger than this number, and we know that they're both smaller than this number. Let's take a look at the place values. 400,000, 400,000. Two ten thousands. No ten thousands. So this number is going to be bigger, right? This one has two ten thousands, and this one doesn't have any. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one second, 426,000. And then 406,200. And that looks like it's going to be from biggest to smallest. That's our order. And if we just look at that from left to right, this does make sense, right? 600 thousands comes before everything else. Once we get to the ones that have 400 thousands, we go to the next place value. 20,000 is bigger than zero in the 10,000s. Okay, so those two are in the right order. And this one at the bottom doesn't have any 600, any in the 100,000s column. So it's only got 10,000s, and so this one's got to be the smallest one. Awesome. I think we're done. Well, thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.